I'm putting this rotary engine together. It's a 13B REW out of a third generation RX-7. And while I have it apart, I figure I'd show you guys how one of these things work, because it's pretty fun. So, this is your front iron. This is the front of the engine here, and this will be the rear of the engine. So this is your front iron, and this is where the air comes in. So these are secondary air intakes, or uh, intake ports, and there's a center iron right there that has the primary intake ports here. So, air comes in here, and you can see there the cutout. So air goes in there and in there, and then it goes into the combustion chamber. You can see there's a recess on the rotor right here. You can see how it looks like, that recess right there. So you have that recess, and then the engine spins like this. See there, you can get a better view of the cutout from the intake port and the recess of the, of the combustion chamber. And these are your apex seals in here. So these are your apex seals. These are the things that always blow up as soon as you push on the gas. So these are what seal the combustion chamber on each end. And then on the sides, you have your side seals that seal it on the sides between the two irons. So as the air enters in here, it enters the combustion chamber. And at the same time up here, you have on the center on, you have two primary fuel injectors that squirt fuel in here. And there are also two secondary ones on the intake manifold that squirt fuel in. So the air in the fuel mixture comes in here and the engine turns like this and it gets trapped like that. You can see the intake port's getting closed off. So now it's trapped. And then as the engine turns, it moves over here and the combustion chamber gets smaller and smaller until it's right there. And then you have your two spark plugs that fire. So this is your trailing spark plugs and your leading spark plug and they fire in succession. So you can see there, a boom, boom, in the blink of an eye and that'll create the combustion. They'll force the rotor to be pushed this way. So then combustion happens Boom, the rotors push that way. The combustion chamber opens up again. And this is the hot gas down here. And then it keeps turning and it sends the gas out the exhaust port down there. And then the gas escapes and you have a new combustion cycle ready to go. So there are three sides to a rotor, so it goes so we go boom, boom, boom. It's a constant cycle, there's no cool down. That's why these engines run so hot. But you always have a combustion and an exhaust and intake cycle happening all at the same time. So there you go. And then this turns back around, the exhaust gases go out, and you start a new uh, intake cycle there.